people did. How did you find your way through that? Man, just like what I was going through with a knee injury, it's like, ah, that's nothing that, you know, even my older brother, he, he went through his whole life, a lot of mental illness, addiction, um, you know, even my father, I lost him 10 years ago. It's like, yeah, so I think uh, I'm going to fight someone in a controlled setting and, you know, it's like, I'm not scared of it. I'm not scared of anything. Like, you know, I'm, the only thing is the loss. I'm scared to lose. That's the only thing that scares me. But, um, yeah, you just got to keep moving forward. You got to realize life is life is too short. Time goes by too fast. So I'm like, if you, <laughs> if you, like, been thinking about someone or, you know, they're on your mind, just reach out to them. Tell, say hi. Say I love you, you know. Just let them know. On a lighter side, are you a Bitcoin maxi or an altcoin degen? I'm all about it, you know. Uh, yeah, definitely in Bitcoin and, and, and yeah, altcoin degen. You know, I, I've been diving deep into it, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm managed by Vayner Sports, and, and just from knowing um, like Gary V talking about a lot of stuff and his brother AJ, and, um, you know, I was, I was into crypto when they were launching their – or he was launching his V friends and I had the opportunity to get in. I didn't understand NFTs at the time back in March and April. And, uh, you know, after I s saw how, you know, just like the utility and everything behind him, I, I like looked into that, did all my research and then just have regrets about that. But I'm in now. So I'm, I'm uh, looking to flip my way up to a V friend. Are you going to make your own uh, crypto punk for you? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Like I, I've thought about things in the past, but uh, um, yeah, we just have to, create something really good for the community and uh, have good utilities, just kind of like a lot of these blue chip uh, NFTs and stuff like that. But you never know. I, I need some uh, yeah, I need some help with that, some of the developers and people to help me out with that down the road. Cool. Josh, you always bring it. You're rarely in a boring fight. But even with your time away, fan favorite, so it's already like, a, like the icing on the cake. Is there even more icing on the icing that you get that uh, main event preliminary billing and we'll get that ESPN 2 and ESPN plus exposure coming back yeah yeah I guess that's a you know that's a, a good thing like in my mind I, I've, I've always wanted to fight on a, a main card of a pay-per-view I still haven't yet um, so I wanted to fight you know this is the biggest card of the year I, I, I wanted to you know be on the pay-per-view and, and happy to have the fans back but then just knowing that the UFC at least they see a lot of conviction in Ige and I that you know, we're going to put on a hell of a fight. It's going to be entertaining. So they're kind of using us to hopefully get more people to buy the pay-per-view. Um, and more people are going to see it, you know, if you if you talk about um, from like a viewership standpoint, there's going to be so much more eyes, I think, on our fight than if I was maybe opening the pay-per-view. You know, I, I'm not sure. I, I think the Poi Oliveira, they'll, they'll do good numbers, you know. Um, so so it is it is good that you know, I hope I can put on a spectacular performance and, and get a, a huge win. And, um, yeah, so it, so it is nice to be on that, that headlining the prelims. Sounds good, my man. And just in case, one day maybe do one for charity where you do all the nicknames and you could be Voldemort the Fighting Baraka yeah. or something. I like it. I like it. Maybe we'll try that. Thanks, we'll man. Try that soon. Thank you, bud. Uh -huh. Thank you. Well, thank you, guys.